You guys, you guys up for it? You ready? ¿Están listos? Amen. You ready for the Holy Spirit? ¿Están listos? Okay, amen, okay. Let me pray. Hay que orar. Father, we thank you. Gracias, Señor. Thank you for the gift of your son. Gracias por el regalo de tu hijo. Lord, we love you. Te amamos. We exalt you. Te exaltamos. Holy Spirit, we invite you. Espíritu Santo, te invitamos. Lord, would you be with us this morning? Sé, sé con nosotros esta mañana. And would you give us a touch of your presence? Y danos un toque de tu presencia. We long for your presence. Amamos tu presencia. We are like thirsty people Somos como gente sedienta, longing for a drink anhelando esa bebida. so come fill us we ask Ven con nosotros. in Jesus name en el nombre de Jesús. Amen. amen amen okay if you want to turn in your Así Bibles es, you, can, sus Biblias. <laughs> you can turn to Matthew chapter 14, Mateo 14 and we're going to pick it up we're going to read from verse 15, del verso 15 verse 15 Matthew chapter 14 verse 15 And I'm going to read the story of the miracle of the loaves and the fishes. Voy a leer acerca del milagro del pan y el pescado, los pescados. And then the story of Jesus walking on the water. Y de Jesús caminando en el agua. Okay, now I know you're thinking, I've heard this a million times before. Y yo sé que estás pensando, ya he escuchado esto muchas veces. But I believe the Holy Spirit can give you something new. Pero creo que el Espíritu Santo te puede dar algo nuevo. He can give you fresh manna, amen? Te puede dar manna fresco. Okay, so verse 15. Verso 15. Now when it was evening the disciples came to him. Cuando anochecía se acercaron a él sus discípulos. And they said this is a desolate place and the day is now over. Diciendo el lugar es desierto y la hora ya pasada. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Despide la multitud para que vayan por las aldeas y compren de comer. But Jesus said. Pero Jesús les dijo. They need not go away. You give them something to eat. No tiene necesidad de irse, darle vosotros de comer. They said, no. Uh, they said, we, we only have five loaves here. Y ellos dijeron, no, tenemos aquí solo cinco panes y, y dos peces. And two fish. Y dos peces. And he said, bring them to me. Y él les dijo, tráemelos para Then acá. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Entonces mandó a la gente a recostarse sobre la hierba. And taking the five loaves and two fish. Y tomando los cinco panes y los dos he peces. He looked up to heaven. Y levantando los ojos al cielo. And said a blessing. Bendijo. Then he broke the loaves. Y partió. And he gave them to the disciples. Y dio los panes a los discípulos. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. Y los discípulos a la multitud. And they all ate and were y satisfied. Y comieron todos y se saciaron. And they took up 12 baskets. Y recogieron lo que sobró de los dos pedazos. Full of broken pieces. 12 cestas llenas. That were left over. De lo que había sobrado. Do you like this passage of scripture? ¿Les gusta este pasaje de la escritura? Amen, it is a beautiful passage of scripture. Es uno hermoso. Okay, I want to touch on this really quickly before Quiero I move on. Quiero tocar esto rapidito. I want you to see here what happened. Quiero que veas aquí lo que sucedió. The disciples, they had a need. Los discípulos tenían una necesidad. Have you ever had a need ha, as a disciple? ¿Ha tenido necesidad como discípulo? Maybe your need is physical. Tal vez no es físico. A spiritual. O espiritual. Maybe it is a financial. Tal vez es financiero. Relational. O una relación. We have many needs in our lives. Tenemos mucha necesidad en nuestra vida. And often what we do when we have these needs. ¿Y qué hacemos cuando tenemos estas necesidades? Is we come to Jesus. Es venimos a Jesús. And we say, Lord, you just take care of everything. Y decimos, Señor, tú tómalo y encárgate de todo. And we want the McDonald's miracle. You know the McDonald's miracle? Queremos un milagro de McDonald's. So we drive through. We drive through. Drive through. We drive through our prayer closet. A prayer closet. A prayer space. Where we pray. We drive through. Very quickly. Muy rápido. Because we don't have much time. Because we have busy lives. Porque no tenemos mucho tiempo. Estamos muy ocupados. So we're like, Lord, you don't have very long to fix my problem. Señor, no tienes mucho tiempo para arreglar mi problema. So we drive through. Así es que manejamos. And we say, I need a relational miracle. Necesito un milagro de relaciones. I'll take a financial miracle. Tenemos, te quiero un milagro de finanzas. I'll take a health miracle. También un milagro de salud. Thank you very much. Gracias. And then we drive away. Y nos vamos. Yeah. But the Lord, he says, whoa, 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 come back. Pero el Señor dice, no, 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 regresa. He says, come back. I don't want you just to come to me with your requests and I deal with everything. No quiero que nada más vengas con tus peticiones y que yo me encargue de todo. I want us to do it together. Quiero que lo hagamos juntos. In partnership. Como un... Partnership. Together. 
juntos, hacerlo juntos, ser so, un socio. So don't move on too quickly. Stay with me. Pero no te vayas muy rápido. Stay Quédate in conmigo. my presence. Quédate en mi presencia. And together we will do this. Y juntos haremos esto. Because Christianity is about partnership. Porque el cristianismo es es una asociación. You remember in the book of Genesis. ¿Te acuerdas en el libro de Génesis? When God created the heavens and the earth. Cuando Dios creó el cielo y la tierra. And then He created man. Y luego creó el hombre. And He said to Adam. Y le dijo a Adán. He said, Adam, come here. Adán, ven. I want you to do something. Quiero que hagas algo. I want you to name all of these animals. Quiero que le des nombre a todos sus animales. Now, was the Lord having a creative dry spell this day? ¿Crees que Dios tenía, no podía crear eso también? Was the Lord, because he exerted so much creativity in making the world, did he say, I don't have any more? Como hizo muchas cosas y fue muy creativo, ya dijo, ya no tengo más creatividad. I need some help. Necesito ayuda. No, he did not need help. No, él no necesitaba ayuda. God does not need your help. Dios no necesita nuestra ayuda. But he wants your partnership. Pero quiere ser un socio contigo. So he says, Adam, you think of these names. Así es que le dijo a Adán, yo quiero que tú le des nombre a los animales. Because he's like a proud father. Porque es como un padre orgulloso. So the disciples they came they said help us please Lord. Vinieron y le dijo, ayúdanos. We don't have very much. No tenemos mucho. All of these hungry people. Toda esta gente está hambrienta. But we only have a sack lunch. Pero solamente tenemos muy poquito. And they were panicking. Y se estaban You see there was not a Walmart close by. Porque no había ninguna Walmart cerca. There was no 7-Eleven around the corner. No había 7-Eleven cerca. But 20,000 people were hungry. Pero 20, personas tenían hambre. With no food. Sin comida. It's like somebody coming to your event on Friday night, Pastor Luis. Es como venir al evento el del viernes. It's, it's the event that you've put on. De este evento que se organizó. And they'll come and they say, hey, I'm hungry. Y que vengan y digan, tengo hambre. I want to see something happen. Quiero ver que algo suceda. Maybe they want to see some worship music. Tal vez quieran ver música de alabanza. But the worship band, they're all sick and they can't come. Pero están todos enfermos y no pueden venir. Pastor Luis will panic. Pero el Pastor Luis se va a poner nervioso. Where is my worship band? ¿Dónde está mi grupo de alabanza? I need some help. Necesito ayuda. So this is what this, the disciples did. Eso es lo que hicieron los discípulos. And Jesus, he came to them, he said, you just give me what you have. Jesús vino y dijo, tú dame lo que tienes. And I will take care of it. Y yo me encargaré. But not by myself. Pero no solito. Together. Juntos. So he says, give me what you have and they Así come que le dijo, Dame very lo que embarrassed, y vienen muy apenados, feeling very inadequate. Sintiéndose inadecuados. Have you ever felt this way? ¿Se han sentido así alguna vez? And they come and they say, okay, vienen, pues okay. here you go. Aquí tienen. I don't see how this will help. No sé cómo va a funcionar esto. But if you want it, I'll give it. Pero si lo quieres, yo te so lo they doy. gave the very little that they had. So dieron lo poco que tenía. And then Jesus, he took that bread. Y Jesús tomó ese pan. And he broke it. Y lo partió. And when he gave it back to them, something happened. Y cuando se lo regresó, algo sucedió. But do you see the way that he had to break it first? Pero vieron cómo la manera que tuvo que partirlo. Because until it is broken, there is no birthing. Porque sin quebrarlo, sin partirlo, it has no to be, hay. It has to be broken before it can be birthed. Tiene que ser quebrado antes de que puedan hacer algo. You say, what are you talking about? What was being birthed? Cuando hablas de algo que van a hacer. I'm going to tell you what. I will tell you. Qué? Te voy a decir. 18 miracles before this one was number 19. 18 milagros. There had been 18 miracles before in the Bible, chronologically. Antes de esto que sucediera habían 18 milagros. 18 milagros, miracles had been done before this moment. 18 milagros sucedieron antes But de all esto. of those 18 miracles. Pero de todos esos milagros. Were done by Jesus. Que lo hizo Jesús, Without the disciples, con los discípulos, number 19 was a little different. Este número 19 iba a ser you see, for the 18 miracles, para esos 18 milagros, the disciples they had been taking notes. Los discípulos habían tomado notas. Do you see the way Jesus did this? Vieron cómo hizo Jesús esto? Look at the way he, he, he changed that man's life and healed Mira that man. Cómo cambió la vida de ese hombre. And they were watching on the sidelines as Jesus performed 18 miracles. Y estaban viendo a un lado cómo Jesús but, hacía sus milagros. But suddenly number 19 was here. Pero de repente el 19 vino. And this was different now. Y era muy diferente. Because Jesus, he now says, now you will be involved. Porque él ahora dice, Jesús dice, tú vas a estar involucrado. You see, there's only so long you can watch from the sidelines. So por muy poco tiempo vas a estar en, al, al lado viendo. There comes a time in your Christian life. Porque en tu vida cristiana. Where you have to step in to miracle number 19. Amen. Pisar al número 19, al milagro número 19. So this is what happened. Así es lo que eso es lo que pasó. They gave what they had. Dieron lo que tenían. And Jesus broke it. Y Jesús lo partió. And he birthed something in them. Y nació algo de ellos. Any women ever being pregnant? 
Here. Alguna persona que ha sido, o mujer que ha sido embarazada. Anybody? Okay. When you have a baby, what, what before you begin contractions, what An happens? Antes de que empiecen la, las contracciones, ¿qué sucede? Your waters break. Tu agua. Or maybe o, after the contractions, I'm not a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But when your baby is about to be born, the waters break. Cuando tu bebé va, va a nacer antes, there is a algo. breaking before there is a birthing. Algo tiene que romperse antes de que nazca algo. When Jesus went onto the cross, Cuando Jesús fue a la cruz, his body was broken. Su cuerpo fue partido. So that you could be born again. Para que tú puedas renacer. Amen. 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 So what God wants to do in our lives is birth something. Amen. So there's got to be a breaking. So Jesus, he got the bread and he broke it. And then he went to all the people and he fed them all. No, he did not. He, he gave to the disciples. He said, no, you do it. You feed them. Partnership. So the disciples went and everybody got fed. Los discípulos fueron y todos fueron alimentados. Do you see what happened after? Vieron lo que pasó después. After there was 12 baskets. Antes habían 12 cestas. 12 baskets. 12 canastas. Why is why were there 12 baskets? ¿Por qué habían 12 canastas? Because I believe. Porque yo creo. The Holy Spirit was showing something. Que el Espíritu Santo estaba mostrando algo. He was showing that the 12 disciples. Estaba mostrando que los 12 discípulos. To the 12 disciples, every disciple is different. Todo discípulo es diferente. I am different to Pastor Luis. Yo soy diferente al Pastor Luis. I am different to Ryan. Muy diferente de Ryan. I'm different to Amy. O de Amy. I am different to Pastor Taylor. Soy diferente But de Pastor Taylor. But we are still Taylor. disciples. Pero todos somos discípulos. Now, Pastor Taylor may say, I don't have as much to give as Scott when it comes to evangelism. Al Pastor uh, Taylor puede decir, yo no tengo mucho que dar cuando se trata de evangelismo. But you know what Jesus says? Pero sabes lo que dice Jesús? He says, it's okay. Está bien. Because I'm the one who multiplies Porque it. Yo soy el que lo All I need from you is something. Todo lo que necesito de ti es algo. So each basket Cada was filled. Was filled to overflow. Not every disciple is going to have the same amount to give. But I promise you this. If you will give to Jesus. At the end of your miracle you will stand there. And you will be holding in your embrace. A basket that's overflowing. Una canasta que es sobreabunda. You will find that there is an excess of, after your, the miracle God Vas has done for you. Vas a encontrar que va a haber exceso después de ese milagro. You say I only have a crumb, Lord. Puedes decir solamente tengo una morona. It's embarrassing. I can't even come with a crumb. Me da vergüenza. No puedo venir con una morona. And Jesus says, You give me the crumb. Y Jesús dice, Tú dame la morona. It will blow your mind what I have seen Jesus do with a crumb. Vas a ver lo que Dios puede hacer con una sola morona. I want to tell you this. Te voy a decir esto. One crumb in the hand of God. Una morona en las manos de Dios. Can shake the world. Puede cambiar el mundo. Amen. Amen. Do you believe it? ¿Crees? ¿Lo crees? Give God some praise. Say amen. Dios, dale gloria a Dios. Are you awake? ¿Estás despierto? Say hallelujah. Di hallelujah. Amen. This is what the Lord wants to do. This is good Esto news es for you. Que tenemos que hacer. This is good news because some Estas people here. Buenas noticias porque algunas say, personas aquí. I can't do much for you, God. Puede decir, no puedo hacer lo que tú puedes. But he says, give me your crumbs. Pero tú dame tus morones. And I'll do more than you can imagine. Y yo puedo hacer más de lo que te puedo Now, this is the other side of the story. Ese es el otro lado de la historia. When the miracle comes. Cuando el milagro viene. When the basket is here. Cuando la canasta está aquí. We like to stay close to it. Nos gusta estar cerca de Because ella. we love miracles, amen. Porque nos gustan los milagros. So ¿cierto? when you have your basket, you want to be close to your basket. Pues cuando tienes tu canasta, quieres estar cerca de tu canasta. What we like to do, we like to bask in our basket moment. Los que nos gusta hacer es tener canasta. <laughs> we like to bask. Bask, you don't have that word. Bask, uh, enjoy. Para disfrutar. Our basket moment. Disfrutar nuestro momento con la. We want to stay close to the miracle. Queremos quedarnos cerca del milagro. We don't like to leave. No nos gusta irnos. So the disciples were the same. Entonces los discípulos eran igual. They had their baskets of overflowing. Tenían sus canastas sobreabundantes. How do I know they didn't want to leave? No se querían ir. Because we read in scripture. Porque leemos en las escrituras. We read here in verse 22. Leemos en el verso 22. Immediately. Inmediatamente. This, this is after the basket moment. Esto es después del momento de las canastas. He made the disciples get into the boat. Jesús hizo a sus discípulos entrar a la barca. In the in, in the NLT, a different version of the Bible. Esa es una versión diferente de la. It Biblia. says he insisted. 
Él insistió, dice. So Jesus insisted Jesús that they get in the boat. De que ellos se a la barca. I'm going to tell you why, because we don't like to leave our por qué. we don't like to leave our miracle moment. No de irse del, de ese del When we see the monument of a miracle, vemos el de milagro, we like to stay close. Nos gusta cerca. But Jesus, he says, Pero I'm not Jesús staying there. I'm moving on. No, no, yo no me voy a quedar ahí. Voy a seguir adelante. Jesus, he's not short of miracles. Jesús le gustaba hacer milagros. Sometimes we say, I want to stay with my miracle. I don't know if this will happen again. Pero te quieres quedar aquí en tu milagro porque quiero es que suceda otra vez. But the Lord, He's not short of miracles. Pero él no le faltan los milagros. So He wants to move you on. Quiere moverte de ahí. Remember the manna. Recuerda el maná. When the manna fell from heaven. Cuando el maná cayó del cielo. You could not store up more than one day. Apart from on the Sabbath. No podías guardar para un día. You know what happens if you do? It gets moldy. ¿Sabes qué sucede cuando haces eso? Es que se echa a perder. Maggots come and eat it. Y los gusanos empiezan a crearse. The Lord was demonstrating that you don't need to worry. I have enough for today and no the next day. No necesitas preocuparte. Hay suficiente para hoy. I have miracles for today. Tengo milagros para hoy. And for tomorrow. Y para mañana. And for the next day. Y para el próximo día. Amen. Amen. So you don't need to store up. No necesitas guardar. You don't need to cling. No necesitas quedarte cerca. You need to move. Tienes que moverte. Jesus has his miracle. Jesús tiene su milagro. And now he says, let's go and do it again. Y ni lo va a hacer otra vez. So he insists that they get Así into the boat. Él insiste que ellos se suban al barco. Why was this important to Jesus? ¿Por qué era importante esto para Jesús? What was on the other side? ¿Qué había en el otro lado? On the other side, there were more people. Del otro lado había más gente. People who needed feeding. Gente que necesitaba ser alimentada. You see, the, food, the, the, the bread and the fish was not just for your stomach. El pan y el pez no era solamente para una persona. Jesus was feeding them with something deeper. Él los estaba alimentando con algo más. So they go to the other side. Así es que se va al otro lado. And what happens? ¿Y qué pasa? It does not go the way they think it should go. No va como uno piensa que va a suceder. Sometimes Jesus sends you into a situation and you think it will be different. A veces Dios te manda a una situación y piensas que es algo. You think if the Lord is sending me, it's going to be sunshine and rainbows. Tú piensas que si Dios te manda va a ser el sol y arcoíris. Otherwise Jesus wouldn't send me. Si no, no me mandaría Jesús. And then we arrive in that situation y on the other side. Y llegamos a esa situación y qué pasa? And there's no sunshine and rainbows. Y no hay sol ni arcoíris. Just some pain. Hay dolor. And some confusion. Confusión. But the Lord is with us in that. Pero Dios está viendo eso. And then you come out the other side. Y vas del otro lado. And you realize that you are stronger. Y te das cuenta que eres más and fuerte. You, and you realize that He was faithful. Y te das cuenta que él fue fiel. You see, there's lots of people. Amen. There's lots of people who say, "I want to change the world for Hay God." Hay mucha gente que dice quiero cambiar el mundo para Dios. They say, "I want to do great things for you, Jesus." Quiero hacer grandes cosas para ti, Jesús. So Jesus says, "Okay." Así es que Jesús dice, "Okay." But you're going to have to go through the fire. Vas a tener que pasar por el fuego. I'm going to have to do a work in you. Voy a tener que hacer I'm going to have to shape and mold you. Tengo que darte forma. Do you want this? ¿Quieres esto? Okay, let's go. Okay, vámonos. So the disciples, they wanted to change the world. Los discípulos querían cambiar el mundo. So Jesus says, go into the boat. Jesús les dice, Ve al barco. And, and you know what happened? The storm came. ¿Qué pasó? La tormenta vino. Did Jesus send the storm? No, but he used it. Amen? Amen. You understand? Did Jesus send the storm? Did he send it? Él mandó la, la tormenta. No, he didn't send it, but he Él used no it. Mandó la tormenta, pero la usó. God will not send you your storms, but he'll use Él them. No va a mandar las tormentas, pero las va a usar. He'll use them to do a work in you that he couldn't have Él done va, without that storm. Las va a usar para darse un trabajo en ti. God will use the storm Él usará las tormentas to mold you. Para moldearte. I heard a, a beautiful picture someone told me when I first got saved. Cuando primero vine al Señor, me mostraron una imagen muy they bonita. Said, Imagine a block of ice. Imagínate una un cuadro de hielo. This is your life. Esta es tu vida. And the 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 pick. Y el the ice pick. Pick. El the ice pick. El pico. Pico. The ice pico comes and it hits the ice. Y empieza a golpear el hielo. And for the ice block, it does not feel nice. Y el bloque para el bloque de hielo no se se siente muy bien. All of these times, it's hitting the ice. Este tiempo, todo este tiempo le están golpeando con el pico. But by the time it is finished, pero cuando termina, there is a beautiful sculpture. Hay una escultura hermosa. The devil is the pick. El diablo es el pico. The devil is the pico. 
el diablo es el pico. And he likes to hit you. Y te, le gusta golpearte. But the hand is the Lord. Pero la mano es el Señor. And he orchestrates every blow. Y orquesta todo movimiento. And he will not let him hit you beyond what he allows. Y él no va a permitir que te golpee más de lo so que So the él Lord quiere. will use the, allow the devil to do his work for el him. El Señor va a permitir que el diablo haga su trabajo. And by the time you are finished, you look Cuando beautiful. Cuando él termine, tú vas a estar hermoso. You are a beautiful sculpture. Eres una escultura hermosa. And this is what happened with the disciples. Y eso es lo que pasa con los discípulos. So they go through the storm. Así es que pasan por la tormenta. And then suddenly this this storm it comes and they get very afraid. Y se se atemorizan mucho. And they're crying out for the Lord. They're, they're thinking, where is Jesus now? Y están clamando por Jesús. ¿Dónde está ahora? Where is he now when we really need him? ¿Dónde está Jesús cuando lo necesitamos? Have you been through a situation of trial and you say, Jesus, I can't see you? Han pasado por alguna tribulación y preguntarse, ¿dónde está Jesús? Have you left me? Me has dejado? Where did you go? ¿Dónde te fuiste? And you feel very alone. Y te sientes muy solo. This is what happened for the disciples. Eso pasó a los discípulos. They say, Jesus, why did you send us here? Jesús, now you have gone. ¿Por qué nos mandaste aquí y luego ya no estás? Where was Jesus? ¿Dónde estaba Jesús? He was praying. Él estaba orando. He was at his prayer station. Estaba orando. The Bible says the fourth watch. En la Biblia dice que la hora cuarta hora. 3 a.m. in the morning, fourth tres, watch. Tres de la mañana. So the storm was very strong. La, la tormenta es muy fuerte. And the disciples were very alone. Y los discípulos están muy solitos. And Jesus is praying. Y Jesús está orando. Maybe they were thinking, "That's not helpful for me, Jesus, pensar, if you're praying." No, no ayuda que Jesús I need you. Orando. I need you not praying. I need you here. No necesito que ores. Necesito que estés aquí. So you know what? Así es que Jesus knew something different. Jesús sabía algo diferente. I'm gonna tell you what he knew. Te voy a decir lo que él sabía. He knew this. Él sabía esto. But just because you can't see me, solo porque no me puedes ver, it doesn't mean I can't see you. No, no significa que yo no te puedo ver a ti. Amen. Amen. Just because you can't see Jesus. Solo porque no puedes ver a Jesús. It doesn't mean he can't see you. No, puede, no significa que él no te puede ver a ti. Everybody look forward. Todos vean para enfrente. Just because you can't see me. Solo porque no me puedes ver a mí. It doesn't mean I can't see you. No significa que yo no te puedo ver a ti. You know what scholars say? Saben lo que dicen los, los They say estudiosos? That Jesus is prayer station. Que dije Jesús. Was situated estaba situado to give him the perfect vantage point. para darle la vista perfecta so he could see the sea of Galilee para perfectly. que pueda ver el mar de Galilea perfectamente so he wasn't only praying. no solamente estaba orando he was interceding. estaba intercediendo he was interceding in the storm. estaba intercediendo en la tormenta And then when he said, okay, now I better step in. y cuando él dijo ok ahora sí voy a entrar he said, now I'll step in. ahora sí entro so he stepped in. así es que you say, how did Jesus step in? There was no boat. ¿Cómo va a entrar Jesús si estaban en el barco? There was only one boat. Solamente un barco. And the disciples were in it. Y los discípulos estaban dentro. So de the él. disciples they must have thought maybe if Jesus had a boat, los he could save us right dicen, now. Tal vez si Jesús tuviera un barco puede venir a salvarnos. But they knew there was only one boat. Pero ellos sabían que solamente había un barco. And they were in it. Y estaban ellos estaban en él. So they were thinking no boat. Estaban pensando entonces no hay barco. No way. No hay forma. But Jesus was thinking pero Jesús estaba pensando no boat no hay barco no problem no hay problema amen amen so what did he do así es que qué hizo he came to them él vino hacia ellos walking on the water caminando en el agua but they'd never seen this before pero ellos nunca habían visto esto antes they've never seen Jesus do this before nunca habían visto a Jesús hacer esto they didn't know he could do this ellos no sabían que podía hacer esto so they didn't know that he could meet them in the storm él no sabía que podía encontrarlos en la tormenta have you been through a storm and you say I don't know if God can meet me in this one ustedes han pasado por una tormenta y no saber si Jesús he met me in those other ones but I'm not sure about this one él ha estado en los pasados pero no sé acerca de este I've never seen him in this one before you nunca lo visto en esta situación antes you know what he's doing? ¿sabes lo que estás haciendo? Está, está intercediendo from his prayer station. desde su lugar from heaven. desde el cielo from his prayer mountain in heaven. desde su monte de oración en from el his cielo. Throne. desde su trono he's looking at every little situation you're está going through. viendo toda situación que tú estás pasando And he's interceding at the right hand of the y está intercediendo a la, a la mano derecha de Jesús And then he says this. y luego él dice esto cuando I think I need to step in cuando yo necesite entrar, I'm going to come down voy a bajar through my Holy Spirit a través del Espíritu Santo, and I'm going to break what needs to be broken. Voy a romper con eso. I want to tell you this true story. Te voy a decir esta historia. I was in Israel a number of years ago. Estaba, uh, Amen. One lugar. man is happy. Praise God. <laughs> come on, brother. God bless you. <laughs> this is good news. Amen. Esta es buenas noticias. I was in Israel Estaba, and I was sitting on the sun lounger. I was relaxing. 
Me estaba relajando en este lugar. And I was by the pool and I saw a, a, a man next to me, this man estaba here. En un lugar, en una alberca, y estaba and he was with his lado. friend. He was with his friend talking. Y estaba hablando and he was talking with his friend and his son was in the swimming pool. Estaba hablando con su amigo y estaba alguien en, en, en la alberca. And his son was trying to make his way from one side to the other side. Y su hijo estaba tratando de pasar de un lado al otro. Just like the disciples. Así como los discípulos. And something happened, he got into a difficult situation. Y algo pasó, se, se metió en una situación difícil. You see, the more that he walked, the deeper the water got. Entre más caminaba, más honda era la alberca. And he thought, I can't make it through, it's too deep. Él decía, no puedo pasar, está muy hondo. So he called to his Abba, his father. Así es que le llamó a su papá. And I heard the word Abba for the first time in my life. Y escuché la palabra Abba por primera vez en mi vida. I read it in the word, but I never heard it. Lo leí en la palabra, pero nunca lo había escuchado. The boy, he says, Abba. Y el niño dijo, Abba. So I, I sit up when I hear. Así I think es que that's me paré cuando escuché eso. He says again, Abba. Lo dice otra vez, Abba. I thought, this is beautiful. Esto es hermoso, dije. He says again, Abba. Lo dice otra vez, Abba. I thought this is beautiful. Y dije, Esto es hermoso. He says again a little louder, Abba. Lo dice más fuerte, Abba. Now I think maybe not so beautiful. Aunque creía no está tan hermoso. For the first 20 times it was nice. Por las primeras 20 veces estaba bien. But after 25 times it's like fingers down the chalkboard. Después de 25 veces ya no Because se bien. it was like a record that was broken. Porque era como un disco rayado. Abba, 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 Abba. 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 So me, I get frustrated. Así es que yo me frustré. I think, Abba, will you help your son? Oh, Abba, ¿puedes ayudarle a tu hijo? Are you deaf? ¿Estás sordo? Can you not hear what I hear? ¿Puedes, no puedes escuchar lo que yo? Your son, he looks like he's in trouble. Su hijo está en problemas. But the Abba, he just ignores Pero el Abba nada más lo ignora. Or so it seemed. O parecía. So the boy, he goes very Así deep now, hombre, and now he's panicking. El niño se va más hondo. Abba, Abba, sí, Abba, gritando, he cries. Abba. And Abba, he finally turns from his friend's conversation. El, el papá he looks to his son. Ve a su hijo. He says, it's okay. Y le dice, Está bien. Go. Dale. It's okay. Está bien. And then he turns back. Y se regresa. All his son needed was Todo that one okay from his Abba. Ese hijo fue el okay de su papá. And then he did it. He went through. Y lo hizo. He was scared. Tenía miedo. But he did it. Pero lo hizo. And as he walked through the pool, y mientras caminaba en la alberca, he looked at his Abba because he said, I can do it. Miraba a Abba porque And he dijo, got through to the other hacer. side. Y llegó al otro he lado. made it to the other side. Y lo hizo. But his Abba knew all along that he could do it. Pero su Abba sabía que todo el tiempo que él And he was, he was ready to jump in if he needed to. Y él estaba listo para brincar si lo necesitaba. But he knew that his son would be okay. Pero él sabía que su hijo iba a estar bien. Because even though it didn't look like his Abba was looking. Porque no parecía que su Abba no estaba viendo. He had one eye on his boy. Pero sí tenía un ojo en su hijo. Amen. 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 I want to tell you guys. Quiero decirles. Jesus always has his eyes on you. Jesús siempre tiene sus ojos en ti. Even when you can't see his eyes. Aun cuando tú no puedes ver sus ojos. He'll never leave you. Él nunca te va a dejar. He'll never forsake you. Nunca te va a abandonar. He always has his eyes on you. Siempre tiene sus ojos en ti. Does this fill you with confidence? Esto te llena de de Amen, I hope so. Seguridad, espero. This is good, amen. Esto espero. Okay, I want to tell you this. Te voy a decir esto. The boat El barco was never meant to be stayed in. Nunca fue hecho para The boat serves a purpose. El barco sirve para algo. Do you know what the boat did? ¿Sabes lo que el barco hace? It took the disciples from point A Tomó los discípulos del punto a to point B. Punto B. It took them from one miracle los tomó de un milagro to the next miracle. Hacia el siguiente the milagro. boat is the church. El barco es la iglesia. Do you imagine after the feeding of the 5,000? Te imaginas que después de alimentar a 5,000? Imagine they get into the boat. Imagínense que se suben al barco. Imagine the conversation. Imagínense la conversación. I would love to be a fly on the boat. Me gustaría ser una mosca en ese barco. And listen to the conversation. Y escuchar esa conversación. James, he says to John, did you see the way San Jesus did this? Le dice a, a Juan, ¿viste lo que hizo Jesús? He took the bread, he broke it, I couldn't believe it, I didn't know what was going to happen. Y lo multiplicó y yo no sabía que iba a pasar eso. But then suddenly people, they kept feeding from the baskets. Y la gente seguía comiendo de las canastas. Did you see their faces, the little boys' faces who had the lunch? Las caras de los niños cuando se pasaba eso. Imagine the conversation. Imagínense las conversaciones que This is a place where we get recharged. Este es lugar donde nos recargamos. It's a place where we rest. Donde descansamos. Where we get refueled. Donde nos reavivamos. So that when the next point miracle comes. Para que el, cuando llegue el punto segundo del milagro. So that when the next place comes where we're going. Cuando llegue el segundo lugar. 
We feel refreshed. Nos sentimos refrescados. This is the purpose of the church. Ese es el propósito de la iglesia. But many people para mucha gente have made the church. Pero mucha gente han hecho la iglesia. They have made the boat. Han hecho el barco. Their home. Su casa. They don't go from point A to point B. No van de un del punto A al punto B. They just like staying in the boat. Les gusta nada más quedarse en el barco. They like talking to each other. Les gusta hablar entre ellos. They like spiritually massaging each other. They like massaging each other spiritually. But they don't want to go anywhere. Pero no quieren ir a ningún lado. Because they get, they think maybe that's not for me to go Porque somewhere. Porque piensan ellos tal vez para mí no es ir. But we need to wake up, people. Pero necesitamos despertarnos. Because there are people dying on Porque the other side. Porque hay gente muriéndose al otro lado. And you maybe, maybe your miracle moment was when you got saved. Y tal vez tu milagro fue cuando fuiste salvo. Maybe you've been saved 54 years. Tal vez has sido salvo 54 años. And here's the monument of your salvation. Y aquí está el lugar de tu salvación. This basket represents your salvation. Esta canasta representa tu salvación. And you like to stay here next to te gusta quedarte en el lado. But you don't want to go anywhere. Pero no quieres ir a ningún lado. Well, you need to open your Bible and read. Pero necesitas leer tu Biblia. I met a man. Yo conocí a un hombre. 54 years he was a Christian. 54 años de cristiano. He said I've never led anyone to Christ. Y dijo nunca he llevado a nadie a Cristo. 54 years. 54 años. You may think so what? Y tal vez pienses ¿y qué? I think that's a big problem. Yo pienso que es un gran problema. 54 years. 54 años. He stayed in his boat. Se quedó en su barco. And never moved anywhere. Y nunca se movió. Do you read what I read? Lees lo que yo leo? Jesus insisted the Jesus disciples get in the boat. Insistió que se subieran al barco. When he gave you the great commission, Cuando él te dio la gran comisión, he insisted you obey. Que él insistió que obedecieras. It was not a suggestion. No fue sugerencia. It was not an idea. No fue una idea. It was a command. Era un mandato. Are you obeying this command? Estás obedeciendo el mandato? I put this card into the hand of the 54-year-old believer. Puse esa tarjeta en un creyente de 50, 54 años. You go and share. Le dije, vas y he was very scared. Él tenía mucho miedo. He was very nervous. Muy nervioso. But he did it. Pero lo hizo. The man he shared with, he starts crying. El hombre con el que compartió empezó he a llorar. He brings the man to Christ. Y él llevó a ese hombre a Cristo. You know what happened? ¿Sabes qué pasó? This was on Saturday. Eso pasó el sábado. The next day on Sunday. El próximo día el domingo. This, this man he is at church. Este hombre está en la iglesia. And he's with his new convert. Y está con su nuevo convertido. Together at church. Juntos en la iglesia. 54 years no. 54 años. No movement. Sin movimiento. One moment. Un momento. Changed everything. Cambió todo. He the, he's there on at Sunday on el, Sunday with his new convert. Está ahí ese domingo con su convertido. Do you see the difference? Ven la diferencia. All of his Christian life. Toda su vida cristiana. He thought I would just stay here. Dijo voy a estar aquí. I sit in this boat. Me voy a sentar en este barco. But I won't go anywhere for Pero Jesus. Pero no voy a ir a ningún lado. But then he was able to do because I showed him how. Y le enseñé cómo y él pudo hacerlo. Because the Lord showed me how. Porque el Señor me enseñó a mí cómo. And he took it. Y él lo tomó. And he bore fruit. Y hizo fruto. Now he's not the same. No es lo mismo. Maybe there's someone in this room. Tal vez hay alguien en este, en este cuarto. You've been a believer that long. Que ha sido creyente, ha sido And you've never led a soul to Christ. Y no has llevado a ningún alma a Cristo. This is unacceptable in the kingdom Esto of God. No es aceptable en el reino de Dios. Unacceptable. No es aceptable. I'm an evangelist. Soy evangelista. And the Lord has called me. Y el Señor me ha llamado. In this gifting. To shake the church para a la in this area. En esta área. Amen. Amen. I don't think you are a bad person. Yo no creo que eres una mala persona. I love you. Te amo. But things need to change. Pero las cosas que so cambiar. you now have no more excuses. Ya no We will give everybody one of these cards. A todos les vamos a dar una but the condition is you have to use it. Con la de que que And if you will do that, I promise si you will see wonderful eso, things. Vas a ver dos cosas. Okay, is this helpful for you? ¿Eso te ayuda? Amen. Okay. Amen. I want to share. Quiero compartir. What happened when Jesus came on the water? ¿Qué pasó cuando Jesús entró al agua? The disciples they were very afraid. Los discípulos tenían mucho miedo. And Jesus came walking on the water but they couldn't believe it. Y Jesús caminaba sobre el agua y ellos no lo podían creer. They said it cannot be Jesus. Y ellos decían no puede ser Jesús. He's never done anything like this before. Él nunca ha hecho esto antes. And also there is no boat. Y también no hay otro barco. And he can't walk on water. Y él no puede caminar en el agua. So what did they say? ¿Qué dijeron? They said, it's a ghost. Dijeron, oh, es un fantasma. It's a ghost. Es un fantasma. Not only are we going to die. No solo nos vamos a morir. We're going to get slimed first. <laughs> nos van a tirar slime. This is not good. Esto no es bueno. This is a bad day. Este es un mal día. 
But what happened? They, they think maybe, maybe it is Jesus. Ven a Jesús. Maybe it really is him. Tal vez sí es él. Maybe he, even Jesus can meet me in this storm. Tal vez Jesús puede verme en esta tormenta. So they're not so sure. So, so no Peter, he says, seguros. Peter, he speaks up. Así es que Pedro habla. He says, Jesus, is that really you? Y le dice, Jesús, ¿eres tú? Is it really you? Es verdaderamente eres tú? Jesus says, yes, it's me, Peter. Y Jesús dice, sí, soy yo, Pedro. Okay, well, if it's really you, okay, si en verdad eres command tú, me to come. Dime que yo vaya hacia ti. Command me to come out the water, on the water. Dime que yo vaya sobre las aguas. So Jesus says, okay, I command you, come. Okay, yo te digo, ven, ven sobre las aguas. So Peter, he looks at the disciples in the boat. Así es que Peter ve a los otros discípulos. They say, go on, Peter. Y les dicen, ve, Peter. You can do ve, it. Pedro. Sí, you can puedes, do it. Tú puedes hacerlo, Pedro. So Peter, he breathes deeply. Así es que Pedro respira and, profundo. And then he moves his leg. Y levanta su pierna. And then he says, y dice, Jesus, Jesús, are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Can you confirm the confirmation? Puedes confirmar la confirmación? You see, the wind is very, it's very loud. Es, hace mucho ruido. And the waves are very strong. Y las olas son muy fuertes. I can't hear too good over no the sound of the waves. No puedes escuchar bien. Can you confirm that you said you want me to come? Puedes confirmar de que dijiste que quieres que vaya? Also, at Shabbat, I was drinking lots of wine recently. Y también estaba tomando yo mucho vino antes. And I must confess, I put some weight on. Y tengo un poquito más de peso. According to the quantum physics weight ratio laws. De acuerdo a la, la química, la ciencia. Will the really, will, will, will the water hold me? Me va a aguantar el agua? I mean, it, it's impossible. Are you sure it will hold me? Es imposible. Crees que me va a aguantar? Jesus, he calls out to Peter. Y Jesús le llama a Pedro. He says, of course it's impossible. Claro que es imposible. But I am the God of the impossible. Pero yo soy el Dios de los imposibles. And I will hold you. Amen. No te voy a desostener. So Peter, he steps out. Es que Pedro, and we know the story. Y ya la he walks on water. El sobre it's beautiful. Es hermoso. But then he sinks. Pero luego se hunde. And he gets back in the boat. Y se regresa al barco. And he feels a little embarrassed. Y se siente apenado. The disciples are laughing a little to each other. Y los discípulos están burlando de él. And then you know what happens? Y luego, ¿sabes qué pasa? The other disciples, they come to him. Los otros discípulos vienen, vienen they, y say, y le dicen, they say, hey, that was, that was good. Hey, eso estuvo muy bien. But if it was me, Pero si fuera yo, I would use my right leg. Mi, I think that's where izquierda. you went wrong. Tal vez no bien. If I was doing it, si yo lo hecho, I would have got up the right side of the boat. Yo ido al lado del barco. You, you shouldn't have got up the front. That's where Tal it went vez wrong. No ido de del barco. Now I'm, I'm playing around. Estoy jugando, claro. I'm paraphrasing. Estoy parafraseando. But I believe something like that happened. Pero yo pienso que algo así sucedió. Because I know from experience. Porque yo sé por experiencia. The lots of people in the boat. Que muchas personas en el barco. Like to tell me where I've gone wrong. Les gusta decirme dónde estoy mal. Instead of themselves stepping out. En vez de que ellos mismos vayan. Amen. Amen. So you can sit here and you can say when it goes wrong, Puedes this is what should have happened. Ahí decir, oh, lo que pasó mal. Or what you can do o lo que hacer is you can step out. Es tu ir. You see, many people we come to church like to come to church. Nos gusta venir a la and we sing the songs. Las Lord, lead me out upon the waters. Y decir, oh, Señor, las aguas. Into the great unknown. Donde yo no conozco. Where my feet may Stand or something like that. You know the song, <laughs> yeah. Oceans. Lead me out upon the waters. <laughs> and we sing the songs. <laughs> and we raise our hands. <laughs> and we close our eyes. <laughs> and we're passionately worshiping. And then Monday morning comes. <laughs> and the Lord says, I command you to come. <laughs> Sorry, Lord, what did you say? Señor, ¿qué dijiste? Can you confirm the confirmation? La I can't really hear. No puedo Maybe that wasn't the Lord. Tal vez ese no fue el Señor. Maybe it was the devil. Tal vez era el he wants me to sink. Él que me hunda. Then maybe I won't go. Mejor no, no voy a ir. And we convince ourselves to stay in the boat. De en el barco. But all the time we miss the adventure. Pero nos la and also we disobey God. Y a Dios. You see, I want to ask you this question right now. Be y honest with me. Esta pregunta. If you were Peter. Si fueras Pedro, and Jesus said, "Come." Y Jesús dijo, ven. Pastor Luis, come. Pastor Luis, ven. Pastor Taylor, come. Pastor Taylor, ven. Put your name on the end. Pon tu nombre ahí. If Jesus said to you, "Come," que Jesús diga, ven. Would you have Would you have stepped out? Tuvieras atrevido. Raise your hand if you would have stepped out of the boat. Tuvieras atrevido. If you were in that situation and Jesus said, "Come," si estuvieras en esa situación y Jesús te dice, ven. 
If Jesus commanded you to come, would you, who would have gone? ¿Quién hubiera ido? Raise your hand. Levanta tu mano. Okay. Let me ask you this question. Te voy a hacer esta pregunta. Jesus commanded you to share the good news. Jesús te ha mandado a compartir las buenas nuevas. Are you obeying that command? ¿Estás obedeciendo ese mandato? It's gone very quiet in here. <laughs> sí. Muy calladitos. Yeah. Okay. So if you would obey this command, si vas a obedecer este mandato, then the great commission to go into all the world and share the gospel. Y la gran comisión de ir a compartir el evangelio. Are you obeying this command? Estás obedeciendo ese mandato. Because if you're not obeying this command, porque si no estás obedeciendo uno, you probably not would obey that command. No vas a obedecer el otro. But we want you to obey this command. Pero necesitamos obedecer este mandato. Some of you now are thinking, will you hurry up? I want my lunch. Estás pensando, apúrale porque quiero comer. And you're making me feel bad. Y me estás haciendo sentir mal. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. No te estoy haciendo I'm trying to help you. Sentir mal, te estoy queriendo ayudar. I'm trying to help you. Te estoy tratando de ayudar. Because I don't want you to stand before Jesus. Porque no quiero que estés delante de Jesús. And you look him in the eyes. Verlo a los ojos. And he say, you never went for me. Y decirle, nunca trabajaste para mí. You never obeyed me. Nunca me obedeciste. You disobeyed me. And you thought that you could stay in the boat every every week. And you thought that was okay. But I sent people to you. Pero yo te mandé a gente. And I made it very, very easy for you. Y lo hice muy fácil para ti. But you still wouldn't go. Pero aún así no lo hiciste. I don't want this to happen to you. Yo no quiero que esto te suceda. I mark my words. It will. Y voy a marcar mis because the great commission was a command Porque la gran comisión and es if, un we, mandato. if we disobey that command we si disobey God ese mandato, desobedecemos a Jesus Dios. paid a very high price for souls Él pagó un precio muy alto para las almas. he paid a very high price for un you precio muy alto. it cost him everything Le costó todo. but it wasn't just for you Pero no solamente fue para ti. it was for all these people out es there para todas esas personas afuera. If somebody was dying of cancer, si alguien se está se está muriendo de cáncer, and you had a medicine, y tú tienes la medicina, and all you had to do was give this medicine, y todo lo que tienes que hacer es darle to the person who was esa dying, esa medicina que se está muriendo, would a esa you persona. give it to them? Se lo darías? Would you give it to them? Le darías eso? I'm sure you would. Claro que sí. What kind of person would you be, ¿Qué knowing clase de persona serías, that you had the antidote to the sickness si but you didn't el antídoto para esa enfermedad? Imagine what kind of person you would be. ¿Qué clase de persona fueras? Okay, I want to tell you this. Te voy a decir esto. Jesus said Jesús dijo that he has something called living water. Que él tiene aguas vivas. In John chapter four, en Juan cuatro, when he spoke to the, to the woman at, at the well, cuando él habló a la mujer en el, he said, el I can give you living water. Yo te voy a dar agua viva. And when you drink it, Quiero que la bebas. It bubbles up inside of you. Y va a hervir dentro de ti. Into eternal life. A una vida eterna. Can you say amen? Puedes decir amen. Amen. What does that mean? Amen. ¿Qué significa eso? It means that there is such a water. Significa que hay tal agua. And Jesus has it. Y Dios, Jesús la tiene. But he's given it to you. Y te la está dando a ti. And what do you do with it? ¿Y qué estás haciendo? You sit there with it, cuddling it. Te sientas ahí abrazándola. You sit there embracing it. Así abrazándola. This miracle water. Esta agua milagrosa. You hold it. La tienes. Like a golem from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Como golem my en precious. Lord of the Rings. You know, my precious. You hold it. You hold it. You don't want to let it go. No la quieres soltar. Well, it's time to let it go. Cuando es tiempo de soltarlo. It's time to let it go. Es tiempo de soltarlo. It's time to let it go. Es tiempo de soltarlo. It's time to let people drink. Es tiempo de que la gente People are thirsty. Tienen sed. This world is dying of thirst. Este mundo se está muriendo de sed. And the things in this world cannot satisfy. Y las cosas de este mundo no lo pueden satisfacer. But living water will quench their thirst. Pero el agua viva lo puede hacer. I promise you. Te lo prometo. But if they don't drink, pero si ellos no beben, how will they ever find it? ¿Cómo es que la van a encontrar? If no one offers them the water, si nadie les ofrece esa agua, how can they choose? ¿Cómo pueden elegir? They may say, I don't want your water. They may say, I don't want it. Tal vez diga, no, no quiero el agua. But how will you know if you never offer it? Pero cómo vas a saber si nunca la so we want you guys to know that we're here today quiero que sepa que estamos aquí to give you living water para darte agua viva in a way that you can share with everybody. en una forma para poderla compartir. Your family and your friends. Tu familia, tus amigos. Your work colleagues. Tus compañeros de trabajo. You don't have to just keep praying for people. No solo tienes que orar por you can be the answer to your own prayer. No puedes ser tu la, la respuesta a tu propia oración. You may say this is not true. Puedes decir esto no es verdad. Well, let me read you a testimony as I close. Déjame de leerte un testimonio. This is a true story. Esta es una verdadera historia. Of a lady. De una mujer. Who was praying. Que estaba orando. But she became the answer to her own prayers. Pero ella se convirtió en la respuesta a sus propias oraciones. You see, she didn't feel that she had enough. 
Ella sentía que no tenía suficiente. She felt that I only have a crumb here. Solamente tengo una morona, ella decía. But Jesus said, you give it to me. Pero Jesús dijo, dámela. For 18 years, Por 18 años, she didn't really give the crumb. Ella no dejaba ir esa morona. But then she got a hold of this. Y después le dieron este. The gospel. La, el evangelio. And she gave that crumb. Y le dio esa morona. And the prayer of 18 years was fulfilled y la oración de 18 años fue cumplida. She was the answer to her own prayer. Ella era la respuesta a su propia oración. I want to read you this testimony. My husband and I, together with our 22-month-old son, moved to Portugal. In the year 2000, and I became a Christian in 2002. We went to church periodically fuimos a la iglesia de vez en cuando for about a year por un año and then my husband made the decision not to go anymore y mi esposo tomó la decisión de ya no ir so I was going all the time así es que yo estaba yendo todo el tiempo and he would come at Christmas and Easter y él venía en, en Pascua y en Navidad I used to take our son every week and he never objected él, yo llevaba a mi hijo y él nunca decía que no I continued to pray for Jamie's salvation Continuaba a orar por la salvación de Jaime. And I stood on the scripture, believe in the Lord and you and your household will be saved. Y leía en la Biblia que clama a Dios y serás tú salvo tú y tu casa. I remember hearing a story of a lady in my church. Y escuché la historia de una señora en mi iglesia. For 16 years she prayed for her husband. Por 16 años ella oró por su esposo. I remember thinking I wouldn't want to wait that long. Y yo me acuerdo pensar yo no quiero esperar tanto tiempo. God led us back to the UK in 2009. En 2009 regresamos al UK. And he spoke to me about my husband's y Dios salvation. Me habló acerca de la salvación de mi esposo. We moved to Bournemouth in 2012. Nos movimos a otro lugar en el 2012. But the same pattern continued. Pero el mismo patrón seguía. I always believed Jamie would come to Christ. Siempre creía que Jamie iba a venir a Cristo. And I continued to pray. Y continuaba orando. On the 24th of November 2019. En el 24 de noviembre del 2019. I went to my home church. Fui a mi iglesia. And Scott McNamara was speaking about Jesus at the door. Y vi que estaban hablando acerca de Jesús en la puerta. I spoke to him briefly and then took one of his cards. Hablé con ellos muy brevemente. When I got home, I put it on the coffee table. Cuando yo llegué, llegué a mi casa, lo puse ahí en mi mesa. And I proceeded to tell my husband about the service. Y le conté a mi esposo acerca del servicio. After I finished telling him, he picked up the card. Cuando yo terminé de contarle, él recogió la tarjeta. He said, what is this? Y él dijo, ¿qué es esto? I said, it is what Scott uses to share the good news about Jesus. Es, dije, esto es lo que Scott usa para compartir el evangelio. She said, y ella dijo, would you like me to share with you? ¿Quieres que te comparta contigo? She didn't think he would say yes. Él, ella no pensó que iba a decir que sí. But he said yes. Pero él dijo que sí. If I'm totally honest, I thought he would stop halfway through. Si fuera honesta, yo pensé que me iba a detener. How wrong I was. Qué mal estaba yo. He went along with every stage of the card. Él siguió cada paso de la tarjeta. And he gave his life to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Es hermoso. I was so stunned. Estaba yo sorprendido. I couldn't believe what had just happened. No podía creer lo que sucedió. After 18 years Después of praying, I couldn't believe it. 18 años de orar, no, no lo podía creer. So I just said, are you ready for lunch, dear? Así es que le pregunté. And he said yes. Está seguro, dijo que And sí. we carried on with our, we carried on with our day. We carried on with the day. Entonces seguimos con el día. Without mentioning what had happened. Sin mencionar lo que había sucedido. I think we were both wrapped up in our own thoughts Creo que estábamos, estábamos en nuestros propios pensamientos, of the step that Jamie had taken. De lo que él había hecho. We didn't speak about it no for, hablamos de ello for five days. Por cinco días. And then I asked him, y después le pregunté, did you really mean what you prayed? En realidad, quisiste decir lo que oraste? He said, yes, I felt that I had no control over the situation. Sentí, me fu estuvo fuera de mi control de la situación. And Jesus just took over. Y Jesús tomó control. It was only then that the enormity of what had happened sank in. Eso es cuando llegó el peso de lo que había sucedido. When you pray for someone for almost 18 years. Cuando oras por alguien por casi 18 años. And then God answers your prayer. Y Dios contesta tu oración. It takes some adjustment to understand the reality of what just happened. Toma que te ajustes a esa realidad. My husband has now been walking with the Lord for two years. Mi esposo ha estado con el Señor ya dos años. And I can honestly say it's been worth the wait. Y puedo decir que es valió la pena. I want to tell you guys this. Quiero decirles esto. That I don't believe Susie, her name is Susie. Yo no creo que Susie. I don't believe she has to wait had to wait 18 years. Que no tuvo que esperar 18 años. I believe the reason she waited 18 years. Yo creo que la razón por la que esperó 18 años. It took her 18 years. Es porque le tomó 18 años. To step out the boat. Para salir del barco. And to say, Lord, do you tell me come? 
Señor, it took her 18 years to give her crumb away. Le tomó 18 años para maybe, you're esa maybe you're praying for a family member today. Tal vez estás orando por algún familiar. Maybe like Susie, you have a husband who's not yet saved. Tal vez como Susie, no tienes un esposo que no es or you have a son or daughter who's not yet saved. O tienes una hija o un hijo que no es un and you keep praying and praying. Si que sigues orando y orando. And all the time you say, Lord, I can't hear you. Y todo el tiempo dices, Señor, no te puedo escuchar. Did you command me to share the gospel with my son? Me mandaste a man a hablar de Jesucristo. Did you command me to share the gospel with my husband? Me mandaste a compartir el evangelio con I mi esposo. I can't hear you. No puedo escucharte. So I'm just going to stay in the boat. Así es que me voy a quedar en el barco. And I'll just keep praying. Y seguiré orando. If you keep praying but don't move. Si sigues orando y no te mueves. Who knows what could happen? ¿Quién sabe qué puede pasar? Maybe the Lord will send somebody. Tal vez el Señor va a mandar a alguien. Maybe you are the somebody. Pero tal vez tú eres ese alguien. Maybe like Susie, you're the answer to your own prayer. Tal vez como Susie, tú eres la la respuesta a tu propia oración. We don't know what will happen when we share. No sabemos lo que pasa cuando compartimos. We don't have to. No no tenemos que. We just call to share. Solamente nos han llamado a compartir y el Señor se encarga de lo demás. So I want to challenge you today. Es que te quiero desafiar. When you leave this building. Cuando te vayas de aquí. To take this and you go to that person you've been praying for and you step out of your boat and you trust the Holy Spirit Amen Amen okay I want to pray for you Lord we love you we praise you we ask you to shake your church in these days I want to ask you today if you are here si estás aquí, and you don't know Jesus y no conoces a Jesús, you may say I know about him tú puedes decir, Conozco acerca de él. you may come to church puedes venir a la iglesia. you may pray before you go to sleep puedes orar antes de dormir. but praying is like talking through the door pero hablar es, orar es como hablar a través de la puerta. You know he's there somewhere. Tú sabes que está ahí alguien. But you don't know him personally. Pero no lo conoces personalmente. I want to ask you to visualize a backpack on your back Quiero que visualices una mochila. If it was filled with your sins, would it be heavy? Y está llena de tus pecados, estaría pesado. This represents your debt with God. Eso representa tu deuda con Dios. It stops you having a relationship with him. De lo que tú tienes en relación con él. If you owe the bank one million dollars. Si vas al banco y tienes un millón de dólares. And I give you this check. Y te doy un cheque. And you give it to the bank. Y se lo das al banco. Your debt would be free. Tu deuda estaría libre. Well, this is what Jesus did for you on the cross. Esto es lo que Jesús hizo por ti en la cruz. He wrote you a check with his blood. Él escribió un cheque con su sangre. He wrote your name on it. Puso su, tu nombre. And then he rose again. Y después resucitó. So that he could be here today. Para que pudiera estar aquí. Standing at the door of your heart. En la puerta de tu corazón hoy. And allowing you to cash it. Y tú tienes que cambiarlo. So if Jesus were here right now, would you let him in? Si estuviera Jesús aquí, lo dejarías entrar? Okay, I want to pray for you to feel him. Voy a orar por te, el temor. Like the wind, we don't see it. Como el viento, no but lo we, podemos ver. But we can feel so Holy Spirit I ask you if there's anyone here today that does not know you make yourself real to them in Jesus name there's only one condition to becoming a Christian you leave the road you're on without Jesus you change direction and you follow him y lo sigues a él. you can be on the wrong road believing in the right God you can believe in God and live the way you want to live no puedes creer en Dios y vivir como tú quieres and go straight to hell y ir directamente al infierno. or you can follow God o puedes seguir a Dios and live the way he wants you to live y vivir como él quiere que vivas and go straight to heaven y ves directamente al just because you believe in God solo porque crees en Dios, that does not guarantee your salvation no te garantiza tu salvación. I want to tell you this. Quiero decirte esto. There's lots of people Hay mucha gente going straight to hell with a Bible under their arm que se van directamente al infierno con una Biblia because they de may believe por lo que ellos creen. but they're not following. Que no, que no están mal. When Jesus called his disciples, he didn't say, come believe in me. He Cuando said, come follow Jesús me. Los discípulos, no le dijo, Are you following Jesus? Está siguiendo a Jesús. You may say, Scott, how do I know if I am? ¿Cómo sé que estoy siguiendo a Jesús? If you close your eyes on earth tonight, si tú cierras tus ojos hoy and you open them in heaven, y los abres en el cielo sorry, open them before Jesus, delante de Jesús do you know you're go to heaven? ¿sabes que te vas a ir al cielo? You say, well, how do you know? ¿pero cómo sabes? You know how you know? ¿sabes cómo sabes? Let me show you. te voy a enseñar One drop. una gota Bubbles up into eternal life. se hace a vida eterna so that means if you have tasted one drop, 
Quiere decir que si has probado una gota, you can't hide this eternal life inside no puedes esconder lo que está dentro you. You feel it bubbling every day. Tú lo sientes dentro de ti. It bubbles todos los días. and it bubbles and it bubbles. Lo sientes y está and it keeps bubbling up inside of you. Está dentro de ti. So if you don't have that bubbling inside of you, si no tienes ese hervor dentro then I want to invite you to come and drink. Te voy a invitar a que vengas a beber. If you want Jesus, come now. Si quieres a Jesús, ven ahora. Come to the front, accept him. Ven a, a enfrente y acepta. Come and drink, come and drink. Ven y bebe. If you need the Lord, come today. Si necesitas al Señor, ven. Is there anybody here? Hay alguien aquí. And you want Jesus. Que quiera Jesús. Now's your chance. Ahora es tu oportunidad. Come. Ven.